You know, while you Marvel fans have the Avengers, while you DC fans has the Injustice League, well, us Transformers fans, us Hasbro fans, we have... Revolutionaries? Huh? We ha I'm doing a revolution review. Okay. Revolution. Boom. Hasbro's Avengers. Justice League. Whatever. Alright, okay, let's get to the end. Ah, Revolution, the ultimate crossover created by IDW Comics. This comic was produced back in 2015. I like to think of this comic as kind of Hasbro's idea of making their own cinematic universe. While there are people that kind of hate this comic, I actually like how it brings this, the whole Hasbro universe together. If you think about it, it's actually not that bad of a comic. I just think they're kind of, like, really harsh about it. Kind of like, you know, how people criticized The Last night. I mean, they really didn't give that movie the credit that it deserved. And same with this comic. But hey, this comic may very well just introduce kids to what, you know, the 80s had growing up with toys. Of what toys that they had. So... I think with this whole cinematic universe thing happening, you know, after the Bumblebee movie, we're getting a Micronauts and a G.I. Joe film, Dungeons and Dragons, which I can care less about it, and freaking Visionaries! Oh, well. But anyways, um, I think this cinematic universe should happen, and I think it'll be great for Hasbro because it'll introduce the kids to some of the older stuff that they never knew about so i think we should give this a try by the way guys if you haven't had the chance to actually read revolution or read first strike its sequel after this one um i'd highly recommend you reading it because it's actually a really good book and the transformers comic universe is actually going to end it's going to end with it's going to be kind of like Infinity War where they're going to actually team up to fight the evil Unicron. And I think it's going to be awesome. And I've read issue number zero and it's pretty intense. It's going to have tragedy, action, all that. So I highly recommend, you know, taking a look at these books. It's a good read. All right. Now sit back and enjoy the review. All right, guys. So here is the Revolution box set. This set was released in 2016 at San Diego Comic-Con, and, and it was also released on HasbroToyShop.com, and those were the only places you can get it. That and Hascon that happened that year, which I really wish I could have gone because it looks like that, that type of convention is going to be a two-year difference when it comes, so it's going to probably come in 2019. Alright, so, but, anyways, we're not here to talk about Hascon, we're here to talk about the Revolution box set, and I'm going to review it, well, at least the first part of it. So, here's all that comes with it, you got the Generations Jetfire from 2014, Lear class, and then you got your little Micronaut figurines, the Roadblock we've all been craving for, Action Man, Leoric, the Dire Wraith, Rom the Space Knights, and Matt Tracker. All these figures represent a part of the Hasbro universe. Alright, but before we move on to the figure, let's take a look at this big, huge box. And 
man, you can really see how huge it is. You see, that's like that size comparison right there. Jet fire and that thing, that thing is is freaking huge. It's taller than my lamp. Yeah, it's a big box. Let's see. Okay. We'll just move this out of the way. It's taking up a lot of space. Alright, so here's the box set. Love the the art and illustration that went into this. You can see Jet Fire, he's looking pretty huge. By the way guys, sorry if you um hear me doing any sniffing, I just I just did cocaine. So no, nah, I just um I just got allergies. But yeah, there's Jet Fire. You got uh, Fenelophy or Fenelophy from the Micronauts. Leoric, Rom, Matt, Roblox, Action Man. So yeah, it's really cool. You got Matt Tracker's car back there. I really wish he could have came with that at least. So, like, you know, a G.I. Joe scale Camaro. You can actually put Matt Tracker in. And then this thing is Velcro, so it does open up. Move on to the back side. You see the art, it does continue. There's Baron Karza. As you can see, it's hard for me to hold my camera while messing with this thing. Alright, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit more. So that so that's basically the whole art for the box. And it's really nice. Pretty cool. Although half that size dark from my view. There we go. Alright, so basically on this side it just says where they're from. It says Earth versus Cybertron versus Microsia and beyond. Adela Yimasa Ala Alam. Yeah. You got what it includes. IDW Publishing, Hasbro, and as you can see, it, it was signed, it's actually a signature by Jack Herbert, the guy who actually illustrated the box art here. He's also the same guy who illustrated some comics such as some of the 2017 Green Lantern comics, uh, Superman Doom issue number two, um, like some Batman Superman comics that actually happened. There are so many of those, but oh well. Anyways, time to get in, uh, let's see. At the top, there's Roblox, and it says, Knowing is half the battle. Savia says the victory. Sabia es parte del combate. Sabia y matare da batalha. Sorry, I tried. But yeah, you can read it in all those different languages. Alright. If you ever want to know, no, knowing is half the battle and in a different language because it is knowing and it's half the battle. Uh, revolution on this side. You got your warning stuff. Not for ages under three. And then we go to the back, the bottom. And we got all this copyright stuff, Transformers Authentic, which means Jetfire is not a GoBot. And um, that's pretty much it for the packaging. So, um, like I said before, this is Velcro. And we're going to show off that feature right now. Alright, man, it's dark. This thing is huge. Huge, freaking huge, it's huge, it's huge. All right, let's straighten up the lighting. So here's basically the here's the box. So when you open this up, this is what's gonna be inside, what it's gonna look like. So you can really see the figures if you want to. Once you got it, you can also actually put the figures back in the box because there's no twisty ties. Hasbro made this so. You know, when you're either, like, filming and you're you're done with that and, or you're taking photography or if you're just, if you're a little kid or you actually like to play with your toys, you can put them back in this box right here. You know, put them where they usually are. You can actually do that and I really like that feature because I really love to take pictures of my toys. 
and make stop motions. And then this is a spot where the jet fire, by the way, I really love the fact that it, this whole insert right here, certain parts of it are actually um, from like different box art. Like you have the grid from Transformers. You have the red mixed with yellow from Mask right there. That was on the box art. So that would be Matt Tracker spot. You got Action Man, although I don't know if that's accurate. Who knows, it might be. Then you got Ron, he had that green and blue type stuff in his insert back in the day. And then that would be where the diorate is at. And there's Roblox, he's got the iconic G.I. Joe background. And then you got Leoric with his blue visionary background. And down there it says Revolution. And then you have all the different revolution characters that are in the box you can pause right there read all of their bios go down there we go and then here is the bio for the entire set if you want to read that if you want to read that in that language Read it in that language, or read it in this language. You can do all that. It's your box set. Read whatever you whatever you want. All right, so that's it for the box set. Really love this packaging. Really impressive. Love the the R from the Revolution comic. So we're gonna close this up. We're gonna we're gonna go on to the the first section of this review. And um, I'm not going to be reviewing all this stuff. We're going to start small with the Micronauts. Alright, so this set comes with a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Mills in my bank account. In my bank account. 9 Micronauts. Alright. Alright. So here's all the Micronauts here. So basically, this line came out in late 70s. Here you go. Here is a courier. As you can see, guys, these guys are really detailed and really small. And I'm really impressed with the amount of detail and they can just squeeze into these little guys. All the mold and details. It looks like the actual figure itself. But of course, much like the Spike with Wiki that comes with the Masterpiece figures, um, they didn't put the eyes on them because their, their, their heads are too small. Corey, he looks pretty nice as a character. I actually like him in the comics. He's, he's one of those characters that we like, you know, just charge into battle recklessly without fear. He's got a nice green sword right there. Pretty cool. You know, it's tiny and may, like, to you... It'll probably feel like a splinter or something. But yeah. Here's um, McCrory. Love the, uh, his little glider. It's probably the best part about him. He's got that big glider. And then you have Biotron right here. He looks pretty much like Optimus Prime. But uh, a little history about this guy. He's actually the first transforming robot ever in history. So that's pretty cool. Really, really nice mold and detail. Love the blue on the legs, and I love the silver on his little treads on his backpack. I love the um, the black on his treads right there. Although, note these figures aren't articulated; they don't move. They're meant to be figurines for display. They come; they have this um, molded-in platform. It's gray. Yeah, there's Biotron. And then you have Zant right here. Don't know much about these guys. I never read the comics. I've only seen them in like Revolution and I've read Rom versus the Micronauts and that's pretty much it. This guy's kind of like an alien. He's got that little brain at the top. And then you have um Fenelophy, which is why I call her, or Fenelophy, however you pronounce her name. I like to call her Fenelophy because it sounds 
feminine enough for this character. It's got a nice. She's got a nice blaster. She's a space glider of the Micronauts. Her glider is small compared to the awesome looking Acroyer or Acroyer, however you call them. The commercials call them Acroyer. Yeah, pretty cool. And then you have, I want to say, this is Gamatron. It looks like a mosquito. It's got a backpack. His face kind of looks like a Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Yep, yeah, there he is. And then you have Betatron. He looks like that spider from Transformers Animated, if you ever remember that episode. Megatron made that spider to infiltrate the Autobot warehouse. And Sari was using her key to use all the electronics. Don't much about don't know much about Betatron, but it's pretty cool. That's what it reminds me of. And then you got Time Traveler. Travels through time, I guess. It's pretty cool. Nice green. Looks kind of like a, a visionary with that big thing on his chest. These are basically like cyborgs that can travel through time. And we have Oberon. He looks like he looks like Demolisher. If you only have one wheel in purple from Revenge of the Fallen. But uh, Oberon, he's actually supposed to be the horse that um, that belongs to Air For or Force Commander. That's what his name is. But yeah, here's Oberon. I don't know um, what happened to him in the comics. I don't know if that's if it has to do with any origin of that. I don't know. I don't know much about Micronauts. And last but not least, you, we have the big baddie of them all. Here is Baron Karza. He's like the Megatron of the Micronauts. Very nice red detail. Pretty cool. He's got the nice backpack. Just like the original toy. And in the comics. Uh, the comics, he didn't really have a jetpack. Or a backpack or anything. But, still looks pretty cool. Looks a bit like Darth Vader in the face, though. And that's all for the Micronauts. For size comparison can see these Micronauts. This is a G.I. Joe. Oops. Action Man wanted to kick that one over. Yeah. This is a G.I. Joe scale figure. Here's Action Man. And then I have Jetfire right here. This is how small they are compared to your other figures. So yeah. They're, they're pretty small. But in reality, in the comics, how they portray them Basically, some stories say, um, like, the story's supposed to go like, oh, they're the figures disguised as the figures. Well, they're not figures, but they're like aliens disguised as the figures in your toy box. But basically, this is... Oh, oh well. Here's a Croyer, the real Croyer, and we'll take a look at this guy, too. Um... This is actually how small they're supposed to be compared to us humans. They're supposed to be the size of actual action figures. So yeah, compared to a Transformer, they're really small. Alright. So a little bonus review. We're going to take a look at the Palisades Acroyer. I got this at Comic-Con. Here is the packaging. I love this packaging. Very nice. It's, a, it's like a card. There's a Micronauts title, The Interchangeable World of the Micronauts. It's got a nice 1980s like grid like the Transformers. It says, a courier, a courier, enemy of the Micronauts. It includes by, includes um, glider pack and spy drone and sword, power sword. By the way, the little drone, that's this little piece of plastic. Yeah, I mean... It's a piece of plastic, but oh well. Nothing special. And then here's the back. You can see gives a whole bio of the Micronauts. Of what they are, what this toy line is. All the other Micronauts you can buy. Corey himself. 
And a little bio about a courier. More of the Micronauts. And here are the credits for the guys that actually um, made these guys. And don't give your go, don't give your toy to a child under three because he'll try to eat them and choke on them. And they'll say, "Oh, look, clear black and red juicy candy." Yeah. So don't do it. Don't do it. Be careful. Okay. So basically, here's a courier. So this is this is a Micronaut what the toys really were, the original toys, how they would be. So this Accroyer, this is the um the red and clear version. The real Accroyer is supposed to be in these colors where he's red and the arm I mean he's white and the arms are black and his his like his glider is like red. But it's not this shiny red. It's like a solid red. And this is a courier. He's got a nice, very nice sword, very nice shiny red chrome paint detailing. I love the clear look in the legs. He's got some nice hefty feet. By the way, his feet got wheels on them so he can skate. He can roll on his feet. So that's pretty cool. His pack is also removable if you don't want his big glider on his pack. Although I must say, with the glider on it being on his um, his back, if you're trying to keep it on, it is gonna you know fall off real easy, and it won't even stay on there as well because you know the arms it's gonna hinder it being on all the way because of the, the little wings. But overall, he is a, it is a cool figure, a very nice find at Comic Con. This line was released in 2003, these reissues. So, uh, yeah, they're really no much different from a size of a normal G.I. Joe. Here I got Action Man again. So, he'll pretty much be about that size. That's what we're looking at for scale. So, for articulation, we got... Let's see... First, let's move off the jetpack. His head, his head can move 360 all the way around. He's got 360 arm rotation because his arms can pop off, so you can change them with other Micronauts. They move up all the way down. It got a bend at the elbow. It can move it up. You can move the elbow back, so you can change arms and all that stuff. And then same articulation for the other arm. And then legs, they don't have no in and out movement. They do go backwards. And they do go forward. They do bend at the knee back. And then they do bend forward at the knee that far. So if you want to make him look like, oh, I broke my leg in battle. However, he broke his leg. And then his foot also swivels right there because... His feet are also detachable. So there's there you have um a courier. Very very cool figure, very cool knight, very cool micronaut. I think this is a really cool toy line from the 80s. So there you go for micronauts. There's part um part one of the revolution toy review. So, I'll touch back on to you with my final thoughts and conclusions. Alright, my final thoughts and conclusions about these figures. Um, it's a pretty cool set, part of the, um, the Revolution box set. They're pretty cool, very nice little pieces. If you want to display some Micronauts with your G.I. Joes, like some accurately, like some accurately scaled Micronauts, these are the figures you could put with them. They're very nicely detailed for some very small pieces, and I think they're really cool additions to your collection. I also uh, forgot to tell you, um, this little time traveler guy right here, his real name is actually Quintillus. I had to look back at the box for that. But yeah, I, I actually really like these guys for some small pieces. And um, that is about it. I also, yeah, I also like to, I also like enjoy this guy as well it, like I really hope Hasbro actually you know like 
produces the real Micronauts. Like, I, ugh. I really hope they make them this scale. I really hope they make more actual Micronauts. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I really love the Micronauts. They're pretty cool. I might, you know, try to learn more about them as I read, you know, the actual IDW Micronauts, or let alone even the Marvel Comics Micronauts. But yeah, so uh, that's about it. So, um, like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends. By the way, guys, I also want to give a shout out to my buddy Jason Perko. Go to his channel called The Elite Squad. They make some pretty cool content, and I really get a kick out of their videos. Alright, and um, peace. We are out of here.